Greetings, today I will explore T1 lines, also known as E1 lines in most parts of the world, along with their derivatives like T2, T3 and T5. These lines have a rich history dating back to the 1960s, and, despite the relentless advancements in higher bandwidth and cost-effective technologies, T1 lines continue to hold significance in specific applications and market segments. A T1 line is essentially a physical transmission medium capable of transmitting 1.544 megabits per second, comprising 536 megabits per second plus an additional 8 bits for overhead. Its European counterpart E1 boasts a capacity of 2048 megabits per second. Originally utilizing twisted copper pairs, T1 lines have evolved to transmit signals over various media, including optical fiber and wireless technologies. Initially designed for voice transmission, T1 lines were quantified in terms of voice channels within the Plesiochronous Digital Hierarchy, PDH, and later Sonnet SDH. A voice channel known as DS0, Digital Signal 0, was equivalent to 64 KBPs, allowing a T1 line to support 24 voice channels, while the corresponding E1 circuit could accommodate 32 voice channels. Configurable to carry voice, data, or a combination of both, T1 lines allocate 23 channels for simultaneous voice calls, reserving the 24th channel for overhead functions such as caller ID. Despite their relatively modest capacity of 1.5 megabits per second and a higher cost per bit, T1 lines are still extensively utilized. Factors like high availability, guaranteed bandwidth, and widespread availability contribute to their enduring relevance. The 0.5 MPs offered by T1 line providers is typically guaranteed, ensuring consistent bandwidth whenever the connection is accessed for critical applications. This contrasts with other broadband services like cable, where speed may fluctuate based on various factors. While metropolitan areas witness the rise of carrier-grade Ethernet and alternative services, T1 lines maintain their relevance in underserved areas. For those eager to delve deeper into communication technologies, especially optical networking, consider signing up for one of our optical networking training events. Thank you for listening and goodbye.